Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kevin. Today I'm back out here again in the Ocala National Forest with some friends. It's actually the original crew from when I came out here about five years ago and started making these videos. We have Ron over here in the Tacoma. Of course, I got my little truck. I got my friend Kevin over here doing the van life. And we also have Michael coming. And uh, like I said, I met all these guys about four or five years ago, all through, I think, Instagram of all places. And we all met out here in Ocala. The first time we met Kevin, he actually had his drone and uh, lost it in the... Uh, opposite side of Hopkins Prairie and it took about two day hike to get all the way out there because you couldn't get there from uh, using a vehicle so we're going to check back in when Michael gets here I'm going to show around uh, the camp we'll show uh, Kevin's van he's got a pop top van and some air conditioning and some cool things but we're out here in the forest you got this nice little pond over here to look at and a uh, little breezy the temp today was 91 degrees it was ridiculously hot but I think it's starting to cool off now and uh, we've got some cloud coverage, maybe some uh, little sprinkles over here behind us. But again, great day to be out here in the forest and uh, stay tuned. So it's about 5.30 in the afternoon and thank goodness the clouds did kind of block the sun. It did cool off pretty nice. It's still rather warm. I'm sure it's probably in the 80s, but it's still not in the 90s like it was earlier. But um, I think it might be a little too hot for the rooftop tent today. It's all black, and if I set it up, I don't think it's going to cool off. It's just going to be really hot in there, keep the heat in. So um, I got my hammock set up right here. I think Ron behind me, he's going to set up his hammock, so it might just be a hammock night. And then, of course, uh, Kevin in the van, he's got an air conditioner and a generator, so he's going to be nice and cool in his van. So I just recently got another box in the mail. We're about to open it up with my uh, favorite new knife that Ron got me. It's the Leatherman Signal. Custom with the Overland Florida on there. A little mountain scene on it. So go ahead and open this up. Figure out what's in here. Looks like we got the new EcoFlow River 2 Pro. It's about 800 watt hour capacity at about 800 watts. Fully charges in 70 minutes. That's pretty impressive. All right, let's go ahead and turn it on for the first time. See how charged it is. We got 30% charge. We got some USBs. We got a micro USB. You got four 110 volts, one 12 volt socket. And then you got two uh, DC ports right there. Nice and smooth on top, which is what I like. You can stack things on top of it. You can stack um, other power banks. You can actually connect two of these power banks together and uh, double your power. You can run an air conditioner and stuff like that for short amount of time there is no flashlight or anything extra you got the intake and exit right there for a fan cooling this thing off when it gets pretty warm but outside of that you got one nice little handle on the side it's not that heavy compared to other power banks and uh yeah well, we're gonna use this in the next couple of videos and uh see how it does so here's our view like i said the sun's going down so i don't really need the solar panel anymore this is the uh, X-Star SP150. It's been working out pretty good so far. I have it plugged into the Dino. Uh, this is the 1500 watt, but there's only about a thousand watt hours of uh, storage. That's going to my refrigerator. We've been using that for a little bit. Probably do a review on that soon. But yeah, there's our little view. Got the dogs down taking a nap. Kevin's van. And then uh, of course Ron's truck. We're still waiting on Michael. We're going to wait till it gets a little darker and we're probably going to start cooking.
Michael's not here with his son Liam. Michael's got a, a homemade trailer that he has, air conditioner and all. <laughs> Here's the 7.30 sunset. The bats should be coming out before too long. They're always uh, fun to watch when you're camping. And uh, there we are camping right over there. time to cook we got a lot going on in this fire pit we have uh, Michael's steak Ron's cooking some tomatoes I'm gonna make some asparagus as an appetizer so I'm just gonna let that get warm melt this butter and I got to get the asparagus ready and um, add some Everglades seasoning What do you want? Oh, there's room. No, you're good. I just throw it right in there onto the side there. Don't tell Ron uh, that touches meat. <laughs> Some of this lusciousy brie cheese with the tomato and just fill it right up. We're just gonna grab all this cream. This food that Ron cooked right here is freaking delicious. We've got a full moon behind us, so we're gonna see how many critters come around this little pond tonight. We're gonna go around and uh, see the uh, tracks in the morning and see if we can see some deer tracks, maybe a bear track, some hogs, something. So it's about 9 a.m. It's just Ron and I, and this is what this pond and the scenery outside of our little campsite looks like once the fog is lifted. Uh, Kevin left earlier, Michael and his son left just before that. And I'll tell you what, Ron and I did not sleep a whole lot in our hammocks. This pond comes alive at nighttime, I'll tell you what. So not only was it a full moon, and let me tell you, this full moon was so bright that we didn't even need headlamps or flashlights at our campsite. We also could have driven anywhere around this forest without headlights that's how bright it was you could see everything uh, once you uh, had your eyes adjusted to the darkness but uh, like I said we didn't sleep a whole lot it is so noisy um, no mosquitoes we weren't getting bitten I thought that was gonna be the main problem just so many mosquitoes because of this little swampland but 
like I said, probably fell asleep around 1 to 2 a.m. And then at 3 a.m., the alligators, um, during like mating season, if you guys have seen videos, they stick their little snout like above the water and they like vibrate the water and make really deep like growling noises like bears. Well, that's what they were doing at 3 a.m. So we had a, a rude awakening at 3 a.m. and then uh, slept a little bit after that and then woke up to uh, soaking wet hammocks because of the very heavy fog that came through here. So our trucks are right back here. And uh, this is a really good campsite. You just have to keep in mind that if you're sleeping in a hammock or a tent, it's going to be really loud. A lot of critters coming through here to, uh, you know, go to the pond and stuff like that. So it'd be a good spot if you're camping inside a vehicle or uh, you got a little trailer or something like that just to block out some of that noise. So the rest of this morning and this afternoon, Ron and I are taking our trucks and we're going to explore some more parts of the Ocala National Forest and we're going to scope out some really cool, interesting uh, new campsites. So um, yeah, the next few videos of Ocala National Forest are probably going to be the uh, campsites that we find on today's trail ride. So Ron and I made it to our destination and just check out this view across the lake right here. What absolute beautiful weather we're having. Blue skies, it is really dusty out here. We're in the middle of a really big drought down here in Florida and I cannot believe there's a there's not a fire ban. It's uh, moderate right now for fires, even though there's wildfires going on kind of all over in Florida. But it's a huge dust bowl. We're kicking up all kinds of dust. The truck tires are all white and everything. But we're in a part of the forest where we have like the highest um, chance of seeing a bear. And out here in the clay, you can pretty much get out anywhere in the forest. It's something fun to do, especially if you have kids and just look at the different tracks. So within like a 10 foot radius of our truck right here, we see turkey, raccoon, and there's a lot of bear prints. So I'm going to turn the camera around and then I'll show you guys the bear tracks. So right there next to my hand, that is a bear print and you can see him came all the way through here. So in this part of the forest, these are all bear prints all through here. And then uh, let me see if I can find it. There are some turkey prints right here. There's some turkey. And then going across over there, there's some raccoon and stuff, but you'll see all kinds of prints. You'll see bobcat, probably some coyote. And uh, yeah, it's just a fun thing to do. Even if you don't see any live animals out here, you can always see their tracks out here in Ocala. It's pretty much noon now, and that's gonna wrap up this camping trip. And uh, we explored, we found some cool sites that we're probably gonna try to uh, incorporate in our next couple camping videos out here in Ocala. It is starting to get really hot. Surprisingly, the mosquitoes were not an issue last night. I thought those were gonna run us off, but it uh, ended up cooling down. I think it got to like 65, so got a little chilly in the hammocks. Probably a little after three o'clock in the morning, it finally cooled down and woke up around eight o'clock. But yeah, it's fun. Uh, Ron over here. Really good chef, cooked a really decent dinner last night, really appreciated that. And uh, stay tuned to the next video, and uh, feel free to subscribe.